Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in yet again. Today we are going to do an unboxing um, of something that's been on my wish list for a few months now. Now it kind of was a sporadic splurge, you know, like when you get something and you're not really supposed to be getting it, but you get it anyway. Well, that's what these boots were. So um, they actually were like a thousand to twelve hundred dollars off the regular price. I did get them on the Ford website for those of you who are familiar with that. I'm sure that most of you lovely people are if you're on this YouTube space. Um, so yeah, I did get them from Ford and they were at such a huge discount. Um, I got them, what? I got them a few weeks ago, but I've been wanting them for months, but I got them a few weeks ago. Um, so they were at such a huge discount that I just, I know I had to put them in the bag, you already know. So I put them in a bag, I got them, and now they are here. I haven't opened them yet because I went out of the country. I've just been so busy with work and everything else. But now I am ready to open this box. I'm ready to see my shoes while it's still cold, you know? So this huge box we are about to open. So stay tuned for this unboxing. And I do kind of want to list off some specifications. Of course, you guys are able to just see all this stuff online. Wasn't sure watching this video. It was like stuff you might want to know. So, of course, they are made in Italy. Right now, I do see that they do have them in Neiman Marcus. So, depending on your shoe size, you can still get these boots. They are available. They are at the full price of $24.50. Um, but like I said, I got them on Ford. I got them at such a huge discount, which I'm so, so happy about. Um, because these were on my wish list. Now, as pretty as this color is, this box actually is a little bit beat up, in my opinion. But I'm not one of those people who, you know, saves the box at this point. It's, it just takes up too much space. It takes up too much space for me. So, um, I won't be really saving this box, I don't think. But, of course, it comes with the dust bag and they are super big because these boots are knee length boots so of course so here goes both of the bags that you can put your shoes in um when they are not in use oh gorgeous like I know y'all see that like these are one of the sexiest shoes that I've seen that's why they were on my wish list for such a long time and as you see it does still have this paper on here um, I'll try to take it off Oh gosh. I love them. Um, I do prefer shoes that have some type of, um, some type of design on the bottom to help with friction. So these shoes are pretty smooth. So we're gonna see how that works out. But here is the boot again. Isn't it the sexiest thing that you've ever seen? Coat through brown. And I hope the color is coming up the way that it should. So this is not, of course, real crocodile skin. Um, it is embossed leather. So it is genuine leather. It is real leather. But um, as far as the crocodile that you see, it is embossed. So it's not real crocodile, um, just embossed leather, which is fine, especially for people who don't want to get into that whole animal thing. So yes, love, love, love. And of course, I'm going to try these babies on for you. They have all that in there. I do like that this boot, for now at least, it does maintain its structure. 
as you can see it's not slouchy at all and the material is out i did take it out so it's not slouchy at all um, i did get a 38 and a half i normally wear a size eight or eight and a half in uh, u.s sizes so yep says time forward shoe size there um and then of course the the gold heel that everybody loves with the padlock as well so i can really definitely see this being such a staple piece with neutral colors definitely black taupes dark browns of course i'm really excited to put these on it is so soft And I am just excited to put these on like, and I'm not even a pointy toe girl, but these, you know, but it is embossed to make it look like it has the um, crocodile skin. It is made in Italy. It does have the leather sole to it, of course. Um, something about this boot though, it does not have a zipper. So you guys may be I don't know, you may want to think about that if you do have like wider calves or if you just like boots that do have a zipper. This does not have a zipper on it, so you will have to slide these boots on because um, there's no other way. So I'm not gonna lie, they are not like the most comfortable shoes that I've ever had on, but they are a pointy toe heeled boot. So, I mean, you can kind of take that how you want it, but they feel okay. They're not overbearing. Will they start hurting in about three hours? Now that's kind of something different, but these are the boots. And as you see, they do slouch a little when you put them on. Here are the boots again. Um, it's not a question of them being sexy or not. The question is, do you want to wear them? <laughs> Okay, so I did try these on, as you saw. Um, they were easy to put on, but they were something else to take off. You might even consider asking for help. I was able to take them off on my own, but it took some work and I don't see myself wanting to go through that every time I take these off. Um, and also the fit, right now it looks very sturdy and it's not slouching but when you put them on it does kind of slouch right here in this area and i kind of don't like that so right now i don't know if i'm gonna keep these shoes um as beautiful as they are i just don't know if i'm gonna wear them that often because one they're already not the most comfortable um i can't see myself necessarily wearing these all night now for a few hours Sure, maybe, but all night, I don't know. Um, and also, the way that it slouches right up in here. I just kind of didn't like that. So, I don't know if I will return these or not. I may try to look at the shark boots. Um, I, I think those kind of stay sturdy. Let me know in the comments if you know if those stay sturdy for sure like without scrunching once you put them on because i just don't like that scrunchy look it's like once you pay a certain a dollar amount or you're gifted with those you want these quality shoes to be standing up tall like they are supposed to in my opinion i just don't like that slouchy look so right now i don't know if i'm going to keep these or not but um i will let you guys know but that is my review of the boots
Thank you guys for watching another video. Make sure that you leave a comment letting me know what kind of boots that you like. Um, it's so many boots these days, so many types of styles, textures, embossments that you can get. Of course, the over the knee, I think um, kind of what's trending now is the boots that are right at the knee, then of course, booties. Um, so let me know what you guys like and let me know what you thought about these boots here. Um, I will have to update you on how comfortable they are. I hear mixed reviews when it comes to um, the padlock Tom Ford shoes, the, um, the actual, the, the heels that everybody wears. So on one end I hear that, oh, they are the most comfortable shoes that I own. Then on the other end it's like, um, no, they're not comfortable, blase, blase. So I will kind of have to let you guys know how these boots are. I'm hoping they're comfortable because I am not, uh, I'm not one to deal with pain when it comes to my feet. Now with other things, possibly, but the pain and beauty part, that's not me. Not with these feet, not with these feet. So um, I will let you know that part. So until then, make sure that you like this video, leave me a comment letting me know what you think, and subscribe to my channel so you can see more. See you next time.